hello friends how you guys doing all right so what is trend line trading strategy guys if this is what you are asking or you want to know how to formulate a profitable strategy using trend line or you've been asking is trend line trading profitable all right so in this video we're going to demystify this and what you are going to learn today guys is fundamental structure of a trend you know what a trend is said to be before you can draw a trend line how to draw a trend line and how to form a trend line tra strategy and the last but not the least is how to trade a counter trend line if this sound interesting kindly smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel help us to grow guys thank you all right so as we dive into the market you must understand that every market have a structure you know we have this concept whereby we trade a wave okay and this wave is what forms the pattern of the market okay so i want you to pay very good attention as we establish the fundamental part of this concept of trend all right i believe you know the popular say that trend is your friend okay so because the big money guys the whales guys they ride the waves they ride the trend and if you know how to hop on you know before these guys come in you will ride with them and you'll be profitable at the end of the day and my that's my my goal of making this so that you will be able to understand how you can take advantage of trend without guesswork all right so pay very good attention now for every healthy market start with an impulse Okay, every healthy market starts with an impulse. Let's assume that this is an impulse. All right, so once this impulse is completed, guys, we will have a corrective structure. Okay, and this corrective structure might be three wave, it might be five wave, and stuff like that. And after that, it goes up again, making the second impulse. All right, so now there are three basic wave in this trend as you are looking at it the first one is this we call it an impulse we have the second one here sorry about that we have the second one which is corrective structure let me use c as correction then we have the third one which is also an impulse Okay, we have the third one, which is also an impulse. Please don't mind my drawing. So we have the first impulse, correction, and impulse. So basically, this is what they call a market fundamental, the trend fundamental. Okay, so every trend that doesn't have this basic requirement, it, an impulse, the first impulse, the, the, the correction, and the second impulse, it's not set to be trending. So before you draw your trend line, you must first of all identify first impulse, correction, and second impulse. Okay, so once we have this stuff, then you will be able to put in your trend line. Okay, so this is a requirement that once this is met, guys, then you have you are permitted to put your trend line. Okay, so that tells us that the market is trending. All right, so then how do you draw your trend line as you've established you, you from the beginning of this first impulse to the end of the corrective structure? At least two point guys, you draw this line. You extrapolate it, you go this way. Then what you should be expecting from the market is a whereby the market will also make a correction, you know, bouncing off this trend, bouncing off this trend line you've drawn. So this is a healthy market trend. And as you can see, if you are no enough to grab this market at this point, definitely you will ride this wave you make money from here you make money from here now if you are new to the market guys this is the thing the first thing i believe you should pay very good attention when a trend is set to occur now because of how important this is i want to repeat myself in this i want to let's redraw it so that we'll be able to grab this concept clearly every market starts with an impulse 
and it makes a correction you know and you follow it as it develop and the second point is you watch out for the market to break this end you know the end of the first impulse if you call this to be a so as this a is broken the end of a is broken then you are permitted to put the trend okay let's put the trend line here because this is established trend all right so then you'll be expecting to ride on the market now is it properly most of most of the uh strategies out there they will teach you that once a trend is broken you can put in uh, a buy buy stop here but the answer is wrong most time because sometimes you will see a trend they will just tag this and stop start dropping you know because the prevailing trend is downtrend okay the prevailing trend is downtrend so that takes us to the next step now before you can say we are trending in that particular uh, time frame then you need to know where the prevailing trend is going because most times you can see a trend from in four hours will be going up like this and the one hour will be coming down and 15 minutes will be going up and five minutes will be coming down so if you are if you're a scalper you might decide to take a trade at this point not knowing that the the prevailing trend is uptrend. So the next thing you need to do is to understand, okay, what are the, the, the rules, you know, as regards to drawing your trend line? Aside from when a market makes an impulse, it makes a correction, and it makes another impulse, and you draw a trend, okay? Expecting, expecting the market to respect this trend okay and now the market start doing something like this so in this scenario now the market is you know becoming more steep so what you need to do is to take from this point you, you take the last two impulses guys the last two impulse of that trend will be your trend line if the market is becoming steep you draw your trend line using the last two impulse okay because this is very very important anytime this trend is broken in most cases it's either the market would respect this uh, outer trend or obviously we start breaking down it all depends on where the market is in the bigger picture all right so have that in the back of your mind so how do we take advantage of this trend line how do we you know uh, trade it profitably because i've seen a lot of traders they take anytime a trend is forming anytime a trend is you know trying to form they are taking it as a buy at this point and most times the market can just tag them in and down it goes because they are not aware of the prevailing trend so before you start taking breakout on trend line you should know exactly where are you in the bigger picture so if you are trading 15 minutes time frame uh, wisdom demands you take a look on one hour or four hours chart to see where exactly is the market going all right so because if the market is going in four hours and the 15 minutes is correcting and forming here so you should be aware that this will be short leave and after that the market will continue to complete this stru structure so also before i show you the how to formulate your strategy you should all also have in the back of your mind that for a, there are five moves most times you should be aware of in the market okay so most market either they make one two three three move or one two three four five okay so for a trend most times we have this five move after that it makes a bigger correction and continue moving up that doesn't mean after five move the market will start reversing but it makes a deeper 
correction and also after three moves it just depends on where the market is it makes it can make a slight correction or a deeper correction it just depends on the wave we are talking about well for me not to confuse you and to give you a clear direction on what you need to do when a trend is forming then you need to take a look on this once the market is forming a trend and that trend is confirmed then the second thing you need to do is to draw your trend line okay this is your trend line then you wait for another pullback all right now the first scene is we have confirmed that this market is trending then we wait for this second pullback all right so this is where you start getting interesting that at the break of this point okay at the break of this second you know trend counter trend this is where you should be getting involved in this market and this is where you should be taking profit out of this market all right so then you watch out for this the market pulls back it goes up this is where you should be getting involved and this is where you should be pulling out then remember what i told you guys last time that anytime you are taking a trade you should be calculating how far has this trend gone all right from this wave and you should be drawing your trend line along the line because it's very very important you might be happy that you have taken this trade profitable you've taken this one profitable and the market start doing things like this you know and you want to get in here and it can just tag you and start coming down so if the trend is stretched if the trend is stretched and you check your uh momentum using macd rsi and there are divergence in that momentum then wisdom demand is still clear because this definitely the market will start reversing by giving you a counter trend and also which might lead to downtrend all right so this is what in a nutshell how you can formulate a, a strong trading strategy uh on trend line let me repeat that before we go into the real market now the first every strategy must be clearly defined so the first thing that we need to see before we jump into the market the first condition that needs to be met is that the market must be trending and we've established here for a market to be trending the market must make an high high lower high and higher high so this is a basic requirement and after that we are waiting for the market to breathe out correct itself and at a break of this correction this is where you'll be getting involved in the market and the market makes a high a higher high again it breathe out at the break of this trend the market will be getting involved and stuff like that so in a, a healthy trend you are you are permitted to take like two or three trade before you wait for a bigger cycle and stuff like that so in this all right so let's go to the real market and see what we can draw from here okay so this is a bitcoin chart guys all right so if i should take out all this stuff here then what can we see now remember if you are trading 15 minutes please always start from four hours one hour and stuff like that but we are looking at bitcoin chart from monthly and see what we can you know take out from here now the first thing we can see from here that uh, the market is trending now i don't know how you are looking at it guy but what i'm seeing here from what the data the market is giving us here is that this market is trending if i should draw my trend you know from here to here you can see that this this is the first you know trend the market established because before it becomes steep the first trend that the market established bef before it actually was steep and stuff like this so this is the first trend so the second thing you need to do is to know where is the market currently okay where is the market currently here we can see another trend that's just formed all because this is an impulse this is a correction this is an impulse and this impulse has actually broken this all-time high as we are seeing currently from the bitcoin chart all right so having established that now for this last bull run that started you know how you would have taken advantage of it is this now note this guys note this this is a bonus for you guys in case you are still watching at this time this is a bonus now 
before you draw your trend line, you must be aware that even if it's a counter trend, there is an impulse, there is a correction, and there's an impulse. Okay? If this condition is not met, if this second impulse does not break this the, the low low of this uh, first impulse, then you are not permitted to draw this trend line. Okay, look at what happened in a Bitcoin chart of before this bull market actually started. Now, if you take a look on it, you can see clearly that we have an impulse, we have a correction, we have an impulse. So we drew this trend, and that's why we know long time ago, generally 2023, that Bitcoin, when it broke this uh, clearly close above that trend, that this market will definitely retest the all-time high, at least at least. So we can see that clearly. And for us, from the angle of wave analysis, we also saw three-wave move here, guys, which also validates that concept. All right. So irrespective of how you are looking at it, guys, understanding when, how to draw your trend line when that fundamental condition is met is a top notch in trading career. All right. So, so now let's take a look on, let's zoom out. Let's go down to lower time frame so we can see what actually we can take from here. So looking at, let's analyze Bitcoin together. Now looking at this, uh, impulse move that is going on now we can see clearly here that the market also make what it makes an impulse here all right so it seems it makes an impulse and ever since then the market went parabolic it becomes steep so the next thing we need to do is we need to follow the market as it develops so you take another trend we're connecting this low we're connecting this one we take another impulse here Impulse correction impulse. Why are we drawing this impulse? Because the market has given us uh, an impulse, a correction, and remember, corrective wave can never be one wave. <clears throat> Every correction is at least three waves. Three waves. What we saw here, guys, what we saw this is we have this, even that will zoom out, and we have this. So it's a kind of expanding flat. Okay, so we go down to the daily chart. So on the daily chart, guys, we can see the same thing happening. You know, you can draw your trend line starting from here. That's the first trend that was established. Okay, a trend line starting from here. So how we have taken how we have taken this you know trend trade that how you have taken you should have taken this trend is this because we have first established our uh first trend we've established our first trend here guys so this is our first trend this is our first trend and if the market is going down there anytime there is a counter trend break anytime there's a counter trend break that is your trade that is your trade this is your trade guys this is your trade because what this is a counter trend and it hasn't broken the first trend line pay very good attention because this is where a lot of guys miss it before you take a counter trend there must be a trend supporting it there must be the first trend supporting that move without that first prevailing trend if you are taking a counter trend move a counter trend break, sorry, because it's a counter trend break, most times it won't work out. All right. So, because this is a main trend, a counter trend, and at the break of that counter trend, you are taking this move. Okay. So, the next question you ask yourself, where are you going to take profit? So, there are two ways to take profit here. Okay. For the first, you know, being on the safe side is at the edge, as the break of this point. You take the first trade, you take the first profits, then you take a fib of this, then 618 or 27, depends on where the market is, you are taking the next profit. Okay, so let's follow the market as it develops. So we are taking the first trade here because it was the break of the first counter trend. All right, so we are going here higher. If you come here again, you see at the break of this 
counter trend. Now, the counter trend must, you know, must be clear and must be at least three wave. At least three waves. If it's just a deep sharp down, you don't take trade. But at least three waves is okay for you. You have this, you have this, we have this. You draw your trend. Okay? You draw your trend. And at the close of it, at the break of it, let me use a permanent source. At the break of this counter trend, that is your trade. Okay? So we have it there. Also, this is a confirmation. One, two, three. At the break of it, you know, this is also your trade. At the break of it, this is also your trade. This is when uh, ultimate breakout is, you know, essential and very good. So at the break of it here, once you count one, two, three, at the break of it, it's your trade. At the break of it, it's your trade. So here too, we'll see it becoming dicey, you know. And once you start seeing this kind of stuff, and now you, you from here you can actually draw your trend. You draw your trend. As you are drawing your trend, you are paying attention to the momentum. You know, the momentum of the market goes a long way because if the momentum is weak, if the momentum is weak, then that tells you that this there sh you should be careful about the taking the next trade. So here now we've seen one, two, three. So here, we, if you go to the lower time frame, that is a three wave move here. Let's go to four hours. You go to the four hours, you can see we saw here. This is the market breaks at this point. So at the break of this, that is your trade. That is your trade. At the break of it, you take this trade up. So now you see the market is dropping. Now you can see what's going on here. That even though this market went up, but this one, one, two, three, actually broke this low. So that is establishing a counter trend that breaks the structure because where your uh, trend line should be on this four hours the first trend line you you join on the first four hour will be here and this trend line has been broken so you'll be extremely careful at this point so trading bitcoin buying bitcoin now is very very risky because the the the, the structure is broken the trend line has broken, but now we are waiting for bigger confirmation. On the four hours, it has broken. And if you take a, if you take a look on the momentum of Bitcoin currently, uh, let me bring the MACD. If you take a look on the momentum of the Bitcoin currently, you can see that ever since the market is divergence, we can see uh, disagreement on the market movement. You see, the market is making higher high why the momentum is dying down so that tells you that we need to be very careful how we position ourselves so so this is just in a nutshell guys how we are arriving and how you can trade trend using a trend line okay how you can trend trade trends move market movement using a trend line so we can see clearly also here now uh the market actually if you draw this trend if I should draw this trend here okay so actually the market is broken this market is broken and it sums up so here we are seeing this counter trend so at the break of this trend you can take this trade downwards okay so but you wait for this market this candle to close this is four hours I'm waiting for it to close okay so you can see this is simple and uh, irrespective of if you're a scalper if you're a day trader if you're a swing trader if you're a position trader whichever one is suits you but make sure you are looking at the market from the right time frame okay that suits you all right so guys i would like you guys to subscribe to this channel guys and also uh, like this video share with among your friend as we get you more content i believe I have helped you to see clearly how to formulate your trend line trading strategy. Now, in conclusion, 
for you to trade this thing profitably and let's recap on what we are actually looking at the first thing you need to look at is to look at a trend line establishment whether in the uptrend or in the downtrend okay so this is the first scene the first requirement once this is established the next one you know we be taking the trade up or the next one will be taking the trade down all right so at the count break of that counter trend you'll be taking the trade or break of that counter trend we are taking the trade down okay so that is how we have been able to trade profitable over time and keep trading and if you apply this in your trading career sorry in your trading uh, strategy it will go a long way because trend is your friend and understanding how to take advantage of that trend line we you know give you more edge in the market thank you so much for your time and i appreciate you please don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to this youtube channel thank you